1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Good afternoon, I'm Don Boggs, Associate Dean of the College of Agriculture. Welcome to the College of Agriculture Spring Commencement Ceremony. I wish to thank our bagpiper, Terry Ferguson, a K-State alumnus, and our organist, Stephen Kachera, a senior in applied music and accounting for the processional music. It is now my pleasure to introduce Allison Schultz, graduating senior in animal science and industry from Iron Ridge, Wisconsin, to sing our national anthem. Throughout her time at K-State, Allison was involved in Block and Bridle and Alpha of Clovia. She served as a junior national Hereford ambassador and was a member of the K-State Livestock Judging Team. Please stand as Allison sings our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Thank you, Allison. That was outstanding. Audience, you may now be seated. Carly Frederick, a graduating senior in agribusiness from Alden, Kansas, has been sec selected to share reflections. During Carly's time at K-State, she has been an active leader in Food for Thought, Ag Econ, Ag Business Club, and the Agricultural Ambassadors, where she served as president this past year. She was a student fellow for the Center for Risk Management, Education, and Research, and she gained work experience through an internship with CoBank. After graduation, Carly will be when, begin working as a marketing manager at Buckland Tractor and Implement in Pratt, Kansas. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Carly Frederick for her reflections. Good afternoon. It is truly an honor to stand before you today to share some reflections and memories of the class of 2017's time here at K-State. To the friends, family, faculty, and staff, thank you for supporting the graduates before you. It is with your encouragement that got us to this place today. I once had a teacher in high school who every day when the bell would dismiss us from class, he would say, have a day. It's your job to make it a good one. Well, class of 2017, I think we did just that. We strived to make our days good ones over the last four years by finding our community at K-State and investing our time here. As we think back to all of the good days that we made here at K-State, we each are reminded of different experiences. For some of us, those good days include memories from our freshman year residence halls, making lifetime friends without even realizing it yet. For others, it includes finding fulfillment in getting involved on campus, from Student Governing Association, to recruiting for the College of Agriculture through the Ag Ambassador Organization, to participating in nationally recognized competition teams. All of us experienced some good days at Bill Snyder Family Stadium, cheering on our cats and wabashing beside our K-State family. Some of us even took our Purple Pride abroad on faculty-led trips, making memories with our peers and professors oceans away to Brazil, Spain, and China, just to name a few. We all had some long days, 
studying for the countless tests, writing the endless papers, and practicing the many presentations. We even had some scared days along the way, like traveling across the country for that internship that helped you land your very first job. Many of us created some fun days along the way as well by spending time with our friends who became our family, going to concerts, hiking the Kanza, and traveling to the bowl game together. But as we look back on the moments and days from the past four or five years that led us to this point, it is time for us to flip the page to the next chapter of life. Whether we are moving on to graduate school, an international opportunity, or a full-time job, keep investing your time wherever you are. Invest in the people you are surrounded by, just like the K-State family taught you to. Invest in the places you are in, learn and see new things. Continue making good days for yourself in whatever new adventure is coming your way. Today is another day that you can add to the stack of good ones here at K-State. So now, as we depart Manhattan and Kansas State University, always remember to stay true to the purple and white. Remember all of the good days that you made here, and remember all of the lessons you learned along the way. And finally, remember the person that K-State and the College of Agriculture has helped shape you into. So, to share those wise teacher's words once again, class of 2017, have a life. It's your job to make it a good one. Good luck, God bless, and go Cats. Thank you, Carly, for sharing your reflections. As we begin today, I would like to introduce our platform party, but I, I would ask each of them to stand as they are introduced, and please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Beginning on my immediate left is Dr. John Floros, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension. Dr. Daryl Buholtz, Associate Director for Extension and Applied Research. Dr. Shannon Washburn, Assistant Dean, College of Agriculture and Dr. Ernie Minton, Associate Dean of Research and Graduate Programs and Associate Director of Research. On the second row is Dr. Alan Featherstone, Head of the Department of Agricultural Economics, Dr. Jason Ellis, the Interim Head, Department of Communications and Agricultural Education, Dr. Joe Harner, Head of the Department of Biological and Ag Engineering, Dr. Gary Perzinski, Head of the Department of Agronomy, and Dr. Candace Shoemaker, Head of the Department of Horticulture and Natural Resources. On my right is Sandy Klein, Assistant Dean in the College of Agriculture, Carrie Carlson, a graduating senior in food science and industry, Carly Frederick, a graduating senior in agribusiness, and Allison Schultz, a graduating senior in animal science and industry. On the second row is Dr. Ken Ody, head of the Department of Animal Sciences and Industry, Dr. Karen Schmidt, a professor in food science and industry, Dr. Gordon Smith, head of the Department of Grain Science and Industry, Dr. John Ruberson, head of the Department of Entomology, and Amy Button Renz, the president and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. Please join me in thanking the folks for being here on our platform today. We are really happy and very pleased that you have joined us for the spring 2017 College of Agriculture commencement. Today we're assembled to honor an excellent group of agricultural graduates for their many accomplishments. However, we also wish to acknowledge some of the very important people who made it possible for our graduates to succeed, the family members present here today. We have many spouses and children, parents, siblings, grandparents, and great-grandparents with us today. Will all of the family members of our graduates please stand and be recognized and graduates, let's give them a nice round of thank you. In addition to our great students, we're fortunate at K-State to have an outstanding group of faculty in the College of Agriculture that have distinguished themselves through excellence in teaching, advising, extension, and research activities. Their names and awards are listed on pages 52 to 53 of the commencement program. We want to thank all of our faculty that are with us today for their commitment and support of our students. Would all of the faculty present today please stand and be recognized, and congratulations for your accomplishments in helping these students.
This time we will recognize and congratulate those students who are graduating with university on academic honors and those students who have completed the university honors or the College of Agriculture Scholars programs. Dr. Shannon Washburn, Assistant Dean for the College of Agriculture, will announce the names of the scholars, honors and scholars program graduates. Students, as I read your names, please stand at your location and remain standing until all in your group have been introduced. Students graduating with an overall GPA of 3.75 and above on at least 60 K-State credits are designated cum laude. The cum laude graduates include Caitlin Alanise, Jason Banning, Emily Carls, Melissa Davidson, Stephanie Davis, William Davis, Mallory Ellis, Laura Irby, Lena Fernkopf, Jacob Friesen, Alexander Gromit, Grace Hammer, Jared Hyman, Jackson Kelly, Jarrett Clunder, Brandy McCoy, Nathan Meyer, Abby Stahlbomber, Lauren Prill, Ellen Revel, Trevor Schulte, Amy Sheehan, Alex, Alexis Sherwood, Guggenpreet Singh, Bailey Spencer, and Mark Toll. Please join me in congratulating our cum laude graduates. You may be seated. <laughs> graduates who have attained an overall grade point average of 3.85 or above on at least 60 K-State credits are designated magna cum laude. Our magna cum laude graduates include Tanner Aheron, Gabriel Bergman, Sydney Bigger, Grant Clausen, Ethan Fowler, Tanner Hodson, Lane Johnson, Clayton Keeler, Samuel Liggett IV, Ella Magrill, Matthew McLaren, Brandon Pekanek, Shania Peterman, Rebecca Ratzel, Colton Regeer, Jesse Schultes, Savannah Speckhart, Erica Stafford, Lisa Tenney, and Rachel Zimmerman. Please join me in congratulating our magna cum laude graduates. You may be seated. Graduates who have attained an overall grade point average of 3.95 or above on at least 60 K-State credits are designated summa cum laude. Our summa cum laude graduates include Kyle Anderson, Allison Aubert, Nicole Borgelt, Carrie Carlson, Haley DeLong, Brett Gum, Alyssa Heim, Russell Hicks, Ashley Joseph, Joseph Limbach, Stephen Mercer, Luke Menix, Elizabeth Wynn, Lisa Fl Ploof, Brianna Potter, Keenan Ray, Cami Roth, Rachel Sarbeck, Clara Seiwert, Carissa Severed, Morgan Schmidt Schmidtle, and Connor White. Please join me in congratulating our summa cum laude graduates. Please be seated. We have three graduates who have completed either the University Honors Program or the College of Agriculture Scholars Program. These graduates have completed a project under the supervision of a faculty member and have completed advanced coursework to earn the distinction of Honors Program graduate. At this time, we will recognize our Honors and Scholars Program graduates. Please stand as I read your names. Catherine Brackbush, Stephanie Davis, and Lisa Tenney. Please join me in congratulating our Honors and Scholars Program graduates. Thank you. Dr. Boggs? It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Darrell Buholtz as our commencement speaker. Dr. Buholtz, a native of South Dakota, was involved with a wide range of 4-H projects as a youth. He graduated from South Dakota State University with a degree in agronomy, becoming the first college graduate in his family. He received his doctorate in 1980 from Kansas State University. Buholtz served as an extension fertility specialist at the University of Missouri 
until he returned to K-State in 1992 as a professor of agronomy and the assistant director of agricultural and natural resources for the K-State Research and Extension. He accepted the associate director position 12 years later. Since 2004, Darrell Buholtz has served as the associate director for Extension and Applied Research. He provides overall leadership for the day-to-day -day operations of approximately 240 K-State Research and Extension agents, 110 faculty, and more than 400 support staff. Basically, it's Darrell's job to make sure Kansas State has a door in every county in Kansas. B. Holtz has served on many vital com committees, including chairing the National Extension Committee on Policy. B. Holtz was elected a Fellow of the American Society of Agronomy and received the Ruby Distinguished Service Award from Epsilon Sigma Phi, recognition of his outstanding contributions to the profession. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Darrell Buholtz. Well, thank you, Dr. Boggs. Dr. Floros, faculty, parents, families, friends, and of course, you as graduates of the College of Ag. It is indeed my honor to, uh, to have this opportunity to speak to you on this great day at the, on the campus of Kansas State University. Congratulations on a job well done. You have an outstanding accomplishment to be a graduate of this College of Agriculture. Doesn't get any better than that. My wife and I have three daughters, and collectively our family has six degrees from Kansas State University. And we all agree, Kansas State University is a very special place to have had our college learning experience at one of the best land-grant universities in the nation. Congratulations to each of you. Enjoy and relish the accomplishment, the journey you've been on, and now being showered with congratulations for these next few days. But judging from who all's in the audience today, I would venture to say that uh, you did not get to this point completely on your own. Think about all the ways in which persons have given you encouragement and support in special ways. Parents, teachers, relatives, friends, community members, they all saw something special in you. They deserve your heartfelt thanks for what they've done. Believe me, they are very proud. And don't forget, tomorrow is Mother's Day. Now to get to some advice that I wish to share, I ask a few individuals to help me think about what, it, what would be the most important advice for new college graduates. And I'm going to give you what I believe to be the top three points that you should take away today. Number one, give it your best and stay positive. This step out the gate may not be exactly what you had hoped it would be, but give it your best. Be humble. Don't be afraid to make mistakes along the way. Keep learning from others and enjoy the people you are working with. Stay clear of the negative and never ever send that nasty email or text message. Stay positive. If you can't find a way to put it in a positive, then just be silent. Set your short and long-term goals for yourself and help you, that will help you to envision how you are going to fulfill your dreams for the future. If you found your passion, pursue it. If you haven't found your passion, pursue it anyway. Make the best of your opportunity. You never know where it may lead you and the doors that may open. And remember, if it is to be, it is up to me. Ten very simple two-letter words with tremendous amount of power. Let me repeat it. If it is to be, it is up to me. Hope and intentions won't get the job done. Moving forward requires action. 
Setbacks and disappointments are likely, but never lose hope. As Winston Churchill put it, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is courage to continue that counts. And once on the job, your boss will be interested in how hard you work and how productive you are. Your coworkers will want to know if you're a team player. Are you willing to learn, to contribute, to follow through, to take responsibility and do your part to make a bigger team successful? Which leads me to number two, be a team player. No matter if you find yourself to be an entrepreneur or working in a major corporation or anywhere in between, your success is going to depend upon the relationships and teamwork. And relationships aren't easy, but they are essential. You've got to learn when you need to lead and when you need to be a follower and to enjoy, support, and fulfill your responsibilities, whatever your role. Helping others to be successful makes you successful. And people like to be around positive people. When working with others, if you're happy, hardworking, and hard at it, you'll be noticed. I'm reminded of Bob Copenhaver, a campus grounds and facilities worker at the University of Missouri. Bob seemed to know everyone on the campus. I'd be walking across the campus and I'd hear this cheerful voice, good morning, Daryl. Looking around, I finally found Bob cleaning out a window well, working hard and having a great time. And that is how he approached everything he did. He and I attended the same church, so I just thought maybe I had a special connection with Bob. But when Bob passed away, I went to his funeral, and I was amazed at the persons seated in the pews, from the highest of university administrators to custodians and grounds workers, and even students who had special connections with Bob. And he had been retired for several years. But Bob knew what it takes and what it meant to develop lasting relationships. He was a team player, and just his positive attitude made us all a better person by putting a smile on your face. I hope you know, appreciate, and learn from people like Bob. Now number three, never stop learning. I tell our extension agents within their first days of their employment with us, if a person ever reaches a point in your work where you believe you know it all and you've mastered it all, you need to move on. But I hope you never reach that point in your life and work. If you have a passion for your work and believe in your need for personal and professional growth through lifelong learning, you will never reach that point where you feel like you know it all. Keep learning, keep growing, and it'll bring great satisfaction, accomplishment, and unanticipated opportunity. This all kind of reminds me of a song from an artist that comes from my generation. And for any of you out there who would happen to be parrot heads, anybody a parrot head? A few of them out there, yes, all right. I'm going to close by reading a few lines from a song, It's My Job, by Jimmy Buffett. A street sweeper came whistling by. He was bouncing every step. It seemed strange how good he felt, so I asked him while he swept. He said, it's my job to be cleaning up this mess, and that's enough reason to go for me. It's my job to be better than the rest, and that makes the day for me. Best wishes to each of you as the spring 2017 graduates of the College of Agriculture at Kansas State University. Go out and find your job, give it your best, be a teamer, and never lose your passion for lifelong learning.
Work to be the best you can be, and that makes the day for me. And in the spirit of Jimmy Buffett, it must be five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> go K-State, go Cats. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, Daryl. Carrie Carlson is a graduating senior from Lincolnville, Kansas, and she's been selected to deliver the graduate address. Carrie will graduate with a major in food science and industry and a minor in bakery science and management. During her time at K-State, Carrie's been an influential leader across the, camp, the college. Carrie held officer positions in the College of Ag Ambassadors, Kansas FFA, Alpha Zeta Agriculture Honorary Fraternity, and was a member of the poultry judging team. Carrie completed two summer internships with Yum! Pizza Hut Global in Plano, Texas, developing formulas and procedures for a variety of pizza doughs. She also interned with Kroger Bakery in Columbus, Ohio this past summer, and was also a research assistant in the K-State Serial Chemistry Lab. Carrie will be starting her career as a quality associate for General Mills in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Carrie Carlson to the podium for the graduate address. Carrie? Fellow graduates, we are gathered here together not by chance, but because of our choices and diligence to furthering our education. While we all had different motives for choosing to attend K-State, it took dedication, effort, and time to enable us to be where we are today. Each and every one of us had to be intentional about enrolling for classes, showing up, doing the assignments, and turning in the exams. Some of us were intentional about spending time with friends, others about being leaders on campus, and some about attending every concert in the Ville. But we weren't the only ones who got us to where we are today. It is because of the choices of faculty, professors, parents, friends, and loved ones who chose to support, guide, and mentor us. These people in our lives have chosen to lead us through intentional influence. A good leader is aware of the influence he or she is having on those that they are leading. Leadership requires us to be aware of what we want to impart on those around us and be intentional in every interaction, just as our professors were as they prepared us for higher education or the industry. But everyone here today knows these things already, and it's not a surprise that the best things in life take both intentionality and effort. We didn't just wake up one day to find out that we were college graduates. Rather, there was many small goals that led to the culmination of our efforts here today as we receive our degrees. As we enter the workforce, higher education, or just life in general, it would do us well to remember that the best things in life take time, effort, and most importantly, intentionality. My fiance and I decided that we wanted to visit every restaurant in Manhattan before we leave. So we made a game plan that every Sunday after attending church that we'd try a new restaurant. We discovered that we really liked the KSU roll from Green Tea, uh, we really like hibachi from Umi's, and also the cute drive out in the country to the Little Grill. And we also decided that we're going to stick to the black, the black bean and raspberry dip from So Long Saloons and forego the peanut butter burgers in the future. We had fun trying out the different restaurants in Manhattan, and we only have three left to finish this summer before we leave. Even though this is a fun example, we were able to accomplish it because we made a game plan and we stuck with it. Achieving our desired lifestyles and goals will also take intentionality. But what exactly does that mean? Intentionality means saying yes to those opportunities that, prevent the, that present themselves, even if we're scared. Being intentional means that we may have to be the first to reach out to a friend to have coffee or to set up a meeting with a coworker. Whatever it is we want, we must be careful not to let the opportunity pass us by because we're too afraid of failure or too busy just accomplishing our to-do list for the day. If it's one thing I've learned in college is that I'm probably never going to have another day without a to-do list. I must confess that important aspects of my life, such as faith, friends, family, and relationships don't always make it on that to-do list. But still, if at the end of the day, I don't prioritize these important things that don't necessarily have a deadline, that I can feel like I wasted the day even though I was busy all day long. 
And I would encourage each of you to ask yourself today, what am I doing today to be intentional about making my life as I desire it? While our future goals may look very different from each other, I know that we've all thought about what we want our life to look like in a year, five years, or maybe even 10 years down the road. Many of us, including myself, may choose to prioritize our career right after graduation. But later on, our priorities may turn to our families as they begin to expand and grow. While we, what we choose to prioritize in our lives may evolve, we must always be intentional about knowing what we want to focus on. Whatever your dream is in life, I encourage you to make a game plan about what you're going to do today to help you with your achievements tomorrow and follow through with it. I know that my fellow graduates understand the importance of having dreams and being intentional, or else you wouldn't be sitting here today as graduates of Kansas State University. I congratulate all, you all on the hard work, late nights, and fun times that have brought you to this very day. And I hope that as you head off to celebrate with your family and friends this evening, that you think about what you want your life to look like in a year and be intentional about doing one thing today that can help you get there tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Before we proceed to the degree ceremony, we are pleased to have Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association, to bring special greetings on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association. Amy? Good afternoon. I'm pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association, representing 182,000 living graduates who will be your lifelong K-State family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are excited to celebrate with you and your family. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater as you begin this new chapter as a K-State graduate. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. Embedded in this mission are the core values that guide our efforts to keep you connected with K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, throughout the United States, and internationally. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater for the first time as a K-State graduate or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. You may also have fond memories of doing the Wabash at K-State sporting events or rubbing the nose of the bronze Wildcat at the Alumni Center for good luck on a test or to ensure victory over another university in the state of Kansas. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. When you see someone wearing purple or a K-State class ring or sporting a K-State license plate, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Agriculture and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and continue to be an active member after your first year. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, our membership ranks in the top five in the nation and number one in the Big 12 Conference for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest land-grant universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you today with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you always stay connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Thank you, Amy. Graduates, we have a few announcements for the degree ceremony. The College of Agriculture is pleased to provide a complimentary 5 by 7 professional photograph of your graduation. One photo will be taken on stage and a second photo will be taken by the backdrop at the rear of the seating area. Please pause and turn toward the camera to make sure you are ready for your photos. 
Family members, if you want to take pictures, you may do so from behind the roped areas around the edge of the floor seating. Please refer to your commencement program, pages 53 to 56, for the order in which the graduates will be recognized. Graduates majoring in agribusiness through wildlife and outdoor enterprise management are seated on the west side and will cross the stage from the west to the east. The remaining graduates are on the east side and will cross from the east to the west. Please prepare for your photo just before graduate approaches the stage and then return to your seat so others can access the area. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. John Floros, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension to proceed with the conferral of degrees. Dr. Floros. This is the time we've all been waiting for, so uh, would all the graduates now please rise for the conferral of degrees. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Border Regions, and upon recommendation by the faculty, and upon completion of all degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respective degrees you have earned at Kansas State University. Graduates, please move your tassels to the left side of your mortal bore. Please join me in a round of applause. Thank you. Please be seated. Again, congratulations on earning your degrees and best wishes for the future. At this time, College Administration will prepare for diploma cover presentation. The department heads will present diploma covers to each graduate as they cross the stage, and I will have the pleasure of congratulating the graduates as they cross the stage. Let's do it. Thank you, Dean Floros. I will now introduce the graduates for individual recognition on the stage and presentation of diploma covers. We will proceed in order by major as listed in your program on pages 53 through 56. I would like to thank our faculty marshals, Dr. Christine Wilson, Dr. Lori Baker, Mickey Ransom, Dave Nichols, Barry Bradford, and Anita Dilley, who will assist in directing you to and from the stage. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Alan Featherstone, head of the Department of Agricultural Economics, who will present diploma covers to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness and the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Economics. Blaine David Alexander. Samantha Lee Banahan. Craig Austin Beechner. Nicole Ray Borgelt, Nicholas R. Boyer, Hunter Patrick Brown, Molly Joy Browning, Cole Matthew Burnside, Emily Ann Carls, Cole Garrett Clausen, Emily Ann Davis, Wesley Boyd Davis, Clayton Douglas Esslinger, Avery James Ferrant, Carly Bliss Frederick, Jacob Jansen Friesen, Weston Eugene Gilbreth Sr., Dylan Benjamin Gagel. Gabriel Paul Getzman, Grace Elizabeth Hammer, Paul Michael Hartwick, Joseph Ernest Haug, Peyton Allen Hayes, Zachary Allen Hyman, Yangzi Jin, Michelle May Keys, Kyle Joseph Krug, 
Cole Charles Lease. Justin Lucas Lin. Shabo Liu. Henry John Masco. Matthew Lee McLaren. Megan McDonald. Stephen Ross Miller. Scott Oberding. Shayna Deanne, uh, Diane Ott. Sorry, Cheyenne. Colton Tate Peavy House. Yuchen Chin. Sarah Catherine Rogers. Colton Jackson Rowe. Megan Brianne Schuster. Cody James Seiler. Scott Mitchell Spiker. Curtis Anthony Stahlbomber. Dalton James Steen. Michael Henry Waycamp. Brantina Maria Williams. Clayton Carl Wood. Spencer David Yenny. Rachel Margaret Zimmerman. <clears throat> I'll now be presenting a degree, uh, degree recipients who are earning, the degree, earning a degree in agricultural economics. Tannel, Tanner Michael Aheron. Nolan Kenneth Allison. Blake Michael Baird. Justice Bartonic. Linda Luella Bilberry. Connor Brianna Duff. Ethan Graham Fowler. Tanner James Gasper. Tyler Joseph Ghosh. Brett McLean Gum. Tanner Ned Black Hodson. Tucker Beswick Hoover. Abigail Rose Horn. Lucas Adam Carlin. Amy Michelle Cruz. Zachary James Lee. Samuel Robert McKinney. Luke Allen Minix. Joseph Edward Neville. Dylan Austin O'Dell. Brian Christopher Otot. Brandon Stephen Pekanek. Hunter Andrew Peoples. Wyatt Dean Proct. Keenan Paul Ray. Brandon Lee Ryan. Luke Sankey. Sonny Ann Schroeder. Emily Catherine Smith. Christina Ruberson Stander, and Christina's degree is being presented by her father, Dr. John Ruberson, professor and head of the Department of Entomology. <laughs> Leighton Brant Wassinger, Chance Levi Weathers, Jackson Henry Wingert, Catherine Erica Wiseman. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Jason Ellis, Interim Head of the Department of Communications and Agricultural Education, who will present diploma covers to the graduates receiving Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with majors in Agricultural Communication and Journalism and Agricultural Education. Caitlin Corin Alanis. Kinsey Marie Curran. Michaela Ruth DeMott. Brooke Taylor Haas. Chance Michael Hunley. 
Hannah Marie Jolman. Colleen Marie Lozick. Leanne Mar Marth. Jamie Luann Morrissey. Amanda Marie Sales. Audrey Lynn Smiths. Ashley Nicole Tercero. Dandy Renee Thomas. Anissa Marie Zaganel. Next receiving the degree in agricultural education, Macy Marissa Anderson. Beth Nicole Augustine. Tyler Kent Cates. Carly Patricia Conley. Michaela Cheyenne LaRue. Michaela Ray Leslie. <laughs> Receiving a degree in agricultural communications, Shakira Everett. Back to agricultural education, Megan Elizabeth Mivis. Amber Ray Mock. Trent Adam Piney. Melissa Ray Poet. Ellen Augusta Revel, Jacob Andrew Rutledge, Courtney Lee Schamberger, Ali, uh, Alicia Dan Danielle Tor, Wyatt Emmett Wentz. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Joe Harner, head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering who will present to graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Technology Management. Jacob Wallace Berglund. Gabriel Michael Bergman. Kyle John Blakesley. Grant Avery Clausen. Jared Thomas Cullop. Kirk Andrew England. Logan Matthew Hay, Ross Albert Nehues, Tyler James Peterson, Ryan Jacob Schultes, Blaze Allen Staver. Next, Dr. Gary Prezinski, head of the Department of Agronomy, will present to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in agronomy. Daniel Robert A.D. Allison Aubert. Cody Lambert Brown. Scott Eugene Kane. Wade Thomas Capone. Crystal Jean Dow. Jacob J. Dryling. Taylor Chloe Fisher, Hayden R. Getterman, Kedrick Scott Hart, Derek Joseph Henry, Jeffrey Lewis Kirk, Jarrett James Kalender, Mitchell Ryan Coulterman, Keldon Van Landgraf, Ianre Liu, Trenton Moore, Colton Ray Rieger, Regeer, Luke Joseph Schmelzley, Drew Robert Steinlogge, Nathan Forrest Stewart, Derek Steens, Brock Allen Welch. Zachary Chance Wilson. Next, Dr. Candace Shoemaker, head of the Department of Horticulture and Natural Resources, will present to graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture with majors in Horticulture and Park Management and Conservation and, bachelor, and the Bachelor of Science degrees in Wildlife and Outdoor Enterprise Management. Kirsten Elizabeth K. Branscombe. Matthew Arlen Briggs. Justin Jeffrey Chikini. 
Christina Elizabeth Gear, Cassandra Beth Holman, Kevin P. Horrigan, Benjamin C. Ira, Andrea J. Johnson, Caleb R. Lawrence, Caleb Andrew McCarty, Nathan Dean Meyer, Faith Ann Orth, Nicholas Michael Reedy, Joseph Jacob Rufinaw, Nathaniel Paul Sneathan, Brennan Matthew Stotts, Justin Tatakin, Laura Lynn Thurlow, Connor Joseph White, receiving degrees in park management and conservation include Dayton Lee Allen, Bethany Marie Cherry, Adrian Jose Cruz, Russell Mark Lee Hicks, Christina Renee Keen, John Vincent Kelly, Ella Marie Magrill, Tuesday Ellen Meredith, Colton Odette, Kyle John Pickt, Gary Cade Pulliam, Matt Alexander Schneider, Trevor Schulte, Amelia Rose Staver, receiving a bachelor's degree in wildlife and outdoor enterprise management, Jeffrey Allen Austin, Brady Russell Burks, Patrick Kirby Davis, Cody Wayne Falkender, Evan Mitchell Gowanda, Hagen Scott Hanslick, Jared Francis Hyman, Graham Howard, Tyler James Hutchison, Shane Matthew King, Chadrick Dean Lind, Brady Patrick Marstall, Avery Scott McNeely, Robert Allen Moritz, Noah Henry Parsons, Drake Lee Sparks, Drake Norman Standifer, Keegan James Strange. We will now pause to change sides and introduce the remaining graduates, starting with graduates in animal sciences and industry. Okay. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Ken Odie, head of the Department of Animal Sciences and Industry, who will present to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Animal Sciences and, in, and Industry. Samantha Lee Adams. Henley Joy Adkins. Lindsay Marie Annetsberger. Sebastian Buenelos de la Rosa. Pierce Jameson Bennett. Allison Grace Berry. Luis Barthol Betson. Sydney Brianne Bigger. Haley Banstra Bonebreak. Chase Taylor Boots. Chase John Borneman. Colleen Elizabeth Boast. Matthew Gregory Boyer. Angel Mar Marietta Boyd. Allison Amy Bruner. 
Baxton Boyd Butler. Chelsea Delisle Buttermore. Tranish Annette Lacole Bird. Astrid Diana Carcamo Zeke. Shelly Ann Chambers. Sarah Lynn Churchwell. Jennifer Jean Clark. Chelsea Ann Coates. Kelsey Nicole Craig. Brianna Arlene Crane. Theodore Francis Creech. Melissa Janelle Davidson. Stephanie Renee Davis. Haley Jeanette DeLong. Austin Eugene Deppy. Dustin Raymond Dieters. Nathaniel Lee Doss. Mallory Suzanne Ellis. Cheyenne Danielle Evans. Lena Marie Fernkoff. Braden Michael Field. Paige Ann Fisher. Kathleen Rebecca Flanagan. Madeline June Fleming. Matthew S. Furlog. Viola Marie Folsom. Caitlin Marie Franco. Lauren Pauline Geis. Charles Zachary Godey. Morgan Nicole Go. Jason Michael Gregory. Andrea Nicole Gripe. Sarai Ashley Groover. Matthew Wildham Haddon. Cassidy Noel Hammond. Casey Ray Harper. Shaylee Brooke Harshbarger. Elizabeth Marie Heimerman. Kendra Dawn Holthouse. Amanda Marie Howell. Eduardo Jose Ibarra. Emily Ann Ingram. Jacobo Jaquez. Jacob Aaron Bradley Jance. Paul Jansen. Dylan Christopher Johnson. James Robert Johnson. Lane Allen Johnson. Marissa Ann Johnson. Morgan Kautzer. Clayton James Keeler. Jackson Wayne Kelly. Christina Nicole Klein. Riley Vernon Raymond LaFrance. Natalie Marie Ledgerwood. Samuel Kaufman Liggett the Fourth. Joseph Raymond Limbach. Kalihiva Jennifer Kali Caitlin Jennifer Kalihiva Long. Jenna Lynn Luth. Caden Tanner Lynch. Sierra Misa Mackey. Kayla 
Caleb Lucas Marshall. Shelby Catherine Martin. Christina Marie Martinelli. Cole William McCabe. Brandy Anna McCoy. Patricia Co. McEwen. Kayla Ann McGurk. Kiara Michelotti. Kaylee Nicole Nemechek. Katherine Ingrid Newman. Kelsey Rose O'Rourke. Sarah Ann Ostrom. Tasha Lynn Ostrowski. Montana Dawn Purcell. Brooke Carolyn Perry. Shania Ryan Peterman. Tyler Palince. Brianna Marie Lynn Potter. Lauren Lee Prill. Rebecca Kathleen Ratzel. Angela Ramirez. Calla Anne Marie Riley. Sandra Lynn Reimer. Braden Matthew Richter. Jacob C. Robertson. Taylor Joseph Rock. Jamie Nicole Rolf. Cammie Lynn Roth. Michael Patrick Roddinghouse. Braden Danielle Rucker. Rachel Elizabeth Sarbeck. Taylor Paige Schmidt. Lance Augustus Sandoval. Brant Charles Skinner. Allison Marie Schultz. Clara Renee Seiwert. Carissa Elizabeth Sawchek Severud. Amy Lynn Sheehan. Alexis Taylor Sherwood. Sarah Nicole Shields. Shayla Ann Marie Shogren. Mackenzie May Showalter. Barrett Joseph Smith. Simon. Barrett Joseph Simon. Savannah Mariah Smith. Savannah Laurel Speckhart. Erica Grace Stafford. Alexander James Staggs. Abby Elizabeth Stahlbomber. Abigail Winifred Stedry. Tiffany Aaron Stuckey. Joelle Ann Sylvester. Samantha Shea Treehall. Annalise Coriel Trout. Victoria Marie Villacana. Jeffrey Dwayne Voles. Kathleen Renee Walker. Sydney Lene Ward. Jessica Renee Whalen. Jacqueline Victoria Wurstler. Christy Marie Wilson. Savannah Lee Wilson. Nathan Allen Witters. James David Wolf. 
Samantha Faye Wood. Tanner Joe Wood. Jessica Lee Woodworth. Rachel Lauren Wyant. Riley James Zamersla. Next, Dr. Karen Schmidt, professor and chair of the Food Science and Industry undergraduate programs, will now present to the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Industry. Hannah Jo Alexander. <laughs> Jessica Marie Baker. Katherine Helen Brackenbush. Carrie Elizabeth Carlson. Landon Michael Cook. Alyssa Christine Heim. Lillian Marie Hyde. Swin Yin Jia. Sarah Lindsay Jones. Maila Fabiana Krasitsky Bass. Blake Anthony Lemley. Macy Loring. Alex William Maggard. Mackenzie Sue Martel. Bria Liana Morton. Antila Nicole Phoebus. Antila's degree is being presented by her father, Dr. Randall Phoebus, professor in food science and industry. Danielle Elizabeth Reedy. Shelby Marie Lynn Rose. Alexandra Serziski. Macy Christina Sherwin. Gretchen Elise Stone. Jacob Dean Wilson. Next, Dr. Gordon Smith, head of the Department of Grain Science and Industry, will present to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science degrees in Bakery Science and Management, Feed Science and Management, and Milling Science and Management. We will begin with the students in Bakery Science and Management. Gideon Abel Butler Smith. Eric Richard Denton Nielsen. Emily Joan Payne. Sophia Elizabeth Pitney. Lisa Christine Pluff. Gagunpreet Singh. Marissa Kaylin Stubbs. Jonathan Thomas Wolf. We will now recognize the students with a major in feed science and management. Kyle Dean Anderson. Claire Emily Bokelman. Kayla Clark. Allison Lee Drogi. Kristen Nicole Groniger. Emily Rose Hoy. Evan S. Smith. Morgan Hunter Steele. Jonathan D. Wise. We will now recognize students with a major of Milling Science and Management. Noah Michael Bashir. Tanner James Elliott. Ramsey Edward Hunley. Tucker John Ivan Kennedy. Margaret Morgan Molina. 
Benjamin Edward Riley. Connor Clayton Seitz. Brett Eugene Stegeman. Derek Timothy Tebow. Please join me in one more round of applause for all of our graduates. <laughs> graduates, it's called commencement. It's not about the end, it's about the beginning. The beginning of new careers, for some of you new families, and for all of you, a new stage in your lives. You can be proud to be a graduate of Kansas State, the first land-grant university in the nation. But we do have a few expectations of you as a K-State College of Ag alum. First, we expect you to capitalize on your education and the training you have received to make valuable contributions in your careers and to your professions, as well as to continue your develop professional development as a lifelong learner. Secondly, we expect you to build upon the outstanding record of citizenship, philanthropy, and service that you have established at Kansas State by becoming outstanding members of the communities to which you relocate, to start your careers or continue your schooling. Get involved and be engaged in community activities. They need your talents and leadership skills. And finally, what truly makes K-State College of Agriculture the great place that it is, is the involvement and expectations of our alumni. Thus, we expect you to keep bleeding purple and to stay involved with K-State and to continue to challenge us to be the best we can be. I am confident that I speak for all of our faculty, our staff, and our administrators when I say that it has truly been our privilege to contribute to your education and be a part of your lives these past few years. We are very proud of you. We wish you the very best. Again, congratulations to our graduates. Thanks to all of you for participating in this special occasion for our graduates. We ask that you please remain seated for the formal recessional. The graduates will follow the stage party to the rear of the floor seating and up the far north stairs to the concourse area. We ask that families then exit immediately behind your section and meet the graduates on the upstairs concourse. This will help us clear the floor for the next ceremony that follows. Thank you again to our musicians for sharing your mus musical talents and to Carly Frederick, Daryl Buholtz, and Carrie Carlson for speaking at our ceremony today. Again, my congratulations and best wishes to the graduates. And for our adjournment, would everyone please rise and join as Allison Schultz leads us in singing the K-State alma mater. <laughs>